Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and today I have some papers and the die set from the new tonic magazine in front of me. Now I'm just about to start making some samples with it but I thought before I do that and cut into the lovely papers and send them off I'll just do a quick video and then when the magazine comes out later I'll add to this video. So what I'm doing at the minute is showing you through this and I really am not too sure when this will be ready so further into the video there may be a couple of changes but thanks for having a little look at it anyhow at the moment. So it's a die set for a memory book and the papers are really beautiful. They're the usual high quality papers. I'll just gather them up here and show you. Uh, since the new magazine was brought out last month for the first, um, well it was last month now, um, I'm not actually too sure, I think they're coming out quarterly, but uh, the, you can see that the papers in them are absolutely beautiful, the quality is fantastic, and there's lovely foiling there, and just really good quality. So you can see the patterns there are really beautiful as well, sort of golds and mustard and blue. I love the way these just go together so well, so many different patterns that work so well. I'm always drawn to checks and florals together and lovely little background patterns like that because there's so much you can do with it. So you can see there, you're going to love those I'm sure, but they go really really well with the beautiful die set that's in the magazine. And this is it here. So I'm just going to hold it this way I think to stop the glare there on the, on the camera. So there you are, you can see here. We've got the large outline die, that one, that cuts out the background shape. That will be the, the actual pages or the front of it, whatever you like, the cover. But I'll be making some samples with this and then I'll come back and show you that as well. But there are gorgeous dies here for decorating all these pieces. Outside edge, a verso one, and these all fit in here. And then there are dies for here as well. I actually think there's one missing from here. It's probably on my... Ah, there it is. I was having a look at this last night, so that one as well. It's got a beautiful pinhole decoration around the outside. That fits in there. I thought there was one missing. So we've got all of these decorative ones. Then there are two little spine dies there as well. So you can see... Um, I'll just show you a very quick one I made last night with some older papers that I had. And that is for threading through there where these spine holes are, are made. And then what I always like to do is you can see that they're going to be fantastic for this memory book. But also um, these are going to look beautiful on cards as well. And I particularly love dies like this where you can make a bookmark and then maybe attach it with a glue dot or something that's removable or repositionable to the front of your cards. So that's always a little extra. And then there are some sentiments and some beautiful tags. So that's it for the moment and uh, no doubt I'll be back later. Oh, sorry, I did forget about the beautiful stamp set. So live life in full bloom, happiness and sunshine. Enjoy the little things forever and always. And look, there's some beautiful little emoji stamps there. And beautiful florals, a little tag or whatever there. A little, oh yeah, those are beautiful. So they're going to be a lovely addition to this as well. Uh, sorry, I almost forgot about those, but I will be back soon again. Thank you.
I'm making a card now with the same die and the papers. So I've used this large die again to cut out this basic shape. And then I have scored and folded it down the, actually down the pre-scored line there, the very first one. And folded that over and just burnished that off with my bone folder. And then I've scored that piece in again, folded it in and done the same thing. Now I want to cover this and I want to cover all those lines in that as well. So I've, I've already cut this piece but I'll show you how I did it. I took this small die that has the dotted line around the outside of it there because I want the piece to fit on there and I want it to cover here but I don't want to cut this edge on it. So what I've done is I have taped this, um, this die on top here on top of a piece of card, actually the patterned paper. Um, the other piece is here somewhere, the piece that cut off, yeah there, there it is. So I just taped that on, the whole piece was intact and then because I didn't want to cut this piece out I turned it around like this moved that top line over the top of the plate and then I took my top plate just like that put it on there and as you can see this plate then doesn't cover where that uh, edge is going to be cut and I can then put that right through my die cutting machine and this part won't be touched at all so what I've got then when I take it out is this which I can then trim to fit the, the front of the card the cover of the front of the card or whatever there and that can glue on there and you'll see a nice little edge around it but you won't see all these score lines there too